Stutnik Aquatics here. This particular humidor here that I got with my last name etched on it, my son and his girlfriend have moved into a house instead of being in an apartment, and he is fixing up the basement. Has a big screen TV, he's getting some furniture in there. He does like to smoke cigars, he also likes to smoke pipes. And I really don't need this anymore since I have the walking humidor that I have built in this room. So I'm going to be giving this to my son. That was my intention when I bought it. I could pass it down kind of as a family heirloom. That's why I had my last name etched, etched on top. And what I've been keeping in here for the most part are cigars that are too tall to fit on my singles trays in here. I, I built these out of cedar and as you can see these are too tall. They, they hit the top. Same way with this and this is where I keep my singles that I can pick from. Um, everything else in here is in boxes on all three of the shelves and then I do have a bundle rack. The most recent thing I added in here was this wider shelf up top it is considerably wider for large boxes, but I think what I'm going to do, since I have some room up here, is I think I'm going to build me a tray that runs all the way from here to here, but I'm going to have it as a shelf, and I am going to put this one at an angle. I don't mind having these not at an angle, because I can angle the boxes, and I can still see what they are, because you can see the box and see what's going on, but if I was to have a shelf up this high, I would not be able to see what's on that shelf unless I stood on the stool and I'm not going to do that. So I think I'm going to build it at an angle and it's going to be wide enough so that even cigars such as this brick house here, which is a really long cigar, would fit on that shelf between here and there. So that's what I'm going to work on. I have just a little bit of scrap cedar left and I'm going to be building that shelf for up there and that should complete this. So I will add more to this later. Well, this is the cedar that I have left. I don't have a lot. This is a 1 by 10 this looks like a little 1 by 6 this is a 1 by 6 this is another 1 by 6 I have these little strips here. I have this 1 by 10 that's kind of short. And I also have this one piece up here that is fairly narrow but is, is probably about 8 foot long. So I'm going to probably have, since it has to be 24 and a quarter to go the whole width, from the bundle rack over, I'd like to have it fit in there at least at 24. I'm probably going to have to use my pocket hole jig here to um, to put it together, which I can do that. And I've made videos in the past on how those pocket hole jigs work. Um, you can join wood with them and they work very well. So I'm going to start trying to get this laid out here and figure out because what I'm probably going to have to do this cigar here is seven and a quarter and I want to make sure that even if I d usually seven and a quarter is about as long as cigars you're going to get but I want to make sure that it lays in there comfortably so I want to make sure I have at least eight inches inside and see this one here is just it's not quite I mean I, it's it's close but these here are obviously way too way too short. So I'm going to have to do a little little figuring on this to try to figure out how to do this. Um, I could leave it open on the top and since I'm going to put it at an angle it would be like this and since the wall is here if the cigar stuck out past that that really wouldn't make a difference. So that might be the way to go and then by the time I put a lip on here to hold it it would butt up against air and then taller cigars would sit on here. The problem is this board is not 24 and a half inches wide. But what I can do is I could cut it this way and I could join these two together with a pocket hole jig on the bottom side. And that, that would work well. I'm going to have to build a shelf bracket that's specially made to hold shelves, have hold that shelf at an angle about like that. So it's going to take a little doing, but I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll add more to this as I go. Okay, I ran a little sandpaper over this, kind of cleaned it up a little bit, but the thing I don't like is I don't have two pieces of wood that match up very well. Although these are both cedar, this does not match up with this. It's, it, you can, it looks bad. So what I'm thinking about doing, rather than have the shelf go all the way from the wall to the bundle rack, I don't necessarily have to do that. I can start this over on the wall and have a gap between here and the bundle rack so I can reach my bundles of cigars. And if I do that, I can still hold quite a few single cigars on here. 
and it would make a nice shelf for the really tall ones. If I get too many tall ones, I just need to smoke more cigars. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to leave the shelf the way it is. I need to cut a lip down here to put on the bottom side. I will have to put a lip on each side too to make sure it doesn't fall off the end. And so I will get a piece here, I'll get a piece here, and then I'll run the, this one full length all the way along here. Have it stick up, oh, about a half inch or something like that. And frame that in. And once I get that, then it's just a matter of figuring out my angle in order to make shelf brackets. I don't have to make two shelf brackets, I make them all out of wood. I can make that out of these, these pieces right here. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start start doing that and get this put together, and I'll add more to this as I go. Okay, I decided to use this piece of cedar here for my edge pieces, and I'm going to go an inch and a half. So what I did was this was all one board. I set my table saw at an inch and a half, ran it through, and that gives me this one inch and a half board. And what this does is then I can set that against this edge like this, and I'm going to cut it flush with this here so that I can run the other board past. And so now that I'm flush with the back right there, I have marked it and I will go ahead and cut that off. I'll do the same for the other side. Once I get that, then I will pre-drill and pre-countersink those and put these and I will use these, um, probably these little guys. I really like these um, Torx head finish screws. So they will go through the board three quarters and they'll go in about like that which works perfect and they when, when you countersink them you can hardly see the head at all so i'll do that and that'll get these two on these sides and then i will have to run this one i'll have to cut another board and i'll run it far enough past to go like that and that will give me my my shelf and then it's a matter of making the brackets for the shelf brackets so we will add more i have these end pieces on there those little torx heads really go in nice and they don't really show the other thing is only one side of these is sanded. It's going to sit like this, so you want to make sure that the sanded side is the side that you're going to see. This side's not sanded, but this is going to be again over there close to the bundle rack. This side's not sanded, but it's going to be against the wall. So, And I also have this big knot here. I don't want to be putting this front piece on and screwing into that knot. That's a pain. So I put it on the back, that way I have good clean wood to go here. Um, there is a couple of staples still in here, but they're flush. I made sure that they are all the way in, and I will just leave them in, rather than mess up the wood to take them out. All I need to do is cut another board here, and screw it in, and I will measure these, and make sure those screws are in at perfectly even intervals, because you will see them. And that'll be it for the shelf, and then I'll have to start making the shelf bracket. I have clamped the end so that this is flush with the end on each side, and that way it's clean on top. This is the unsanded side, but you won't see this part, so that doesn't matter. I also measured in two inches and put a little mark, measured two inches on this side, and measured the middle. So now I'm going to go ahead and put these screws in here on all three of those. And then I have to make my shelf brackets at that angle, which is going to take a little bit of thinking. So anyway, I will add more to this. Okay, I have the shelf made, and as you can see, the cigar fits on there nice. And I'm going to have it at, oh, probably an angle about like that. So I need to figure out what my angle is in there and make a shelf bracket so that it can be held up and I'll make two of them. So, but that's going to be nice. That way I can stand the taller cigars on there and I will be able to see them from without having to stand on a stool. Okay, I decided to use a 45 degree angle on this for a couple of reasons. Number one, you set it like this, this square is 45, that's a nice angle. You can see it real well, the cigars will sit on it, they will not fall off and everything's fine. The other good thing about it is, by having this at 45, that means that your up and down shelf bracket is also a 45 on the end. And that means that when you do this one going this way, it's also a 45. So that makes everything really simple. So I'm going to keep throwing this together. Okay, I put my bracket in a quarter clamp so that I can screw it together. And when you put this right at the top and this down towards the bottom, that allows you to screw that to that and that will be the shelf at the angle. I got it backwards. Anyway, like this. That's how it's going to sit. So that is going to work. I will make two of these. I have everything cut. I'm just going to go ahead and 
pre-drill this down here and I'll have to put I want to put two yeah one one should work I'll put one in here and then they'll have to screw one from here to here into this into the shelf okay shelf's upside down this is the front of the shelf so now I'll go the other way. all I have to do I went ahead and I went in three inches and use a square and put a line on both ends and now all I have to do is set this even with those lines like that screw it together and I have a shelf I know it looks kind of funny but once I screw this to the wall then all you will see is the shelf yeah okay I have the shelf in it went in really really well all I had to do was was screw these two in put a level on top and make sure it's level and it sits in there just like that and I know that in the camera it doesn't look even but but it it is it's it's perfectly even so anyway um, if you put a cigar up there it sits just like that so it's going to work very very well you can put quite a few of the taller cigars all the way along here and that way when I give that other humidor to my son I will have this one to make sure that this I have room for all of those yeah I have room for everything anyway that is my video for today and thanks for watching